uh, you know, a lot of us young fighters, us young girls, we we on these we on these guys line, man. Like we on their line heavy, and it's like that's what we supposed to do. Like you press the action till you get it. Tio made a valid point though. You know, he said, you know, I'm a undisputed He's, champ. You know, you, you gotta get a belt. Get get where I'm at. Get a belt first. And I respect his reply. I respect that. I, respect I ain't gonna that lie. reply. But when Keyshawn do get a situation where like he got a belt, then he could double back and be like, well, I got a belt now. You told me to get a belt. And then like, then they go from there. No, no. What, uh, as far as the state of boxing, man, you like how things are right now as far as what we're seeing with the upcoming matchups and the things that are getting announced out there right now? Oh, yeah. No, I definitely like it. Like last year, we got a lot of other fights that we wanted to get like people wanted that Rand and tank fight got that and wanted the uh the earl and bud fight you got, you got that. that you know so you know it's, it's a lot of fights that we want to happen that they're starting to happen so um you know even this year we getting uh Devin, Devin and uh ryan so you yeah, know nah, they're making all the fights happen that was that was about you know the fighters living up to it are you looking forward to the rollout of the, of the Amazon Prime and, and see where they things go with the PBC? I'm, I'm very interested to see how the new layout and rollout will be as far as um, not being with Showtime anymore. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm interested. Um, it's the, like, like a lot of people have said, it's the end of an era. You know, we was watching Showtime for how long? I can't, what, 20, long 30? Time. Long yeah, time. Like, you know, closer to, closer to 40 years than 30, yeah. honestly. You know, at one point, HBO. Yeah, ran HBO. Days. Yeah, I'm thinking about but the HBO slowly, days. But surely, ease HBO out the way so it became, you know, Showtime was the go to joint. But, um, yeah, it's real interesting. I'm, I'm, I'm interested in seeing how the uh, Amazon thing goes. Now, now, Jaleel, you be talking about your, your B ball skills, you know, Watts League and everything, man. Yeah. Talk, talk about your old squad, Cardoza, man, and things they doing right now. And they like, trying to make good. some noise. Yeah, right? they looking real good, man. One of the top teams in the city. Um, I got to see him play a few times this year in person. Um, you know, they, they definitely wanted the teams to beat this year. You actually had that on, on one of your vlogs, man, yeah, going. I did. It was I, packed too, yeah. man. God dog. No, a lot of uh, a lot of alumni have been at the games and they're like, man, this is probably one of the best teams we had in a while. Um, and then what a lot of people don't know, I think they got like one senior on their team. So that team that they got now, they're gonna be coming oh, back dang. next year. That's so, what's up. Um, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's just good, you know, seeing them guys, you know, growing and developing into something special. Now, now, with that being said, Jaleel, man, uh, a lot of people want to know, man, what's the next uh, upcoming date for you as far as fights? Um, you know, we're looking at, looking at April. You know, we will not have an official date yet, but you see where I'm at. I'm in the gym, so when they do give me a date, it's like, all right, I'm ready. You know, it's just about, you know, sharpening up the tools and everything. And also as the goal is to uh, try to pick one of those names that's under you, man, looking forward to try to chop them off, to, to yeah. keep steadily, move up the ranks. Slowly but surely, brick by brick. You How know. hard is that, man, when, when you reach out and they, and they see Jaleel Hackett? They, 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 they want too much? Yeah, it's, it's, it's real. Like, you know, some guys price themselves out. But, you know, uh, it's going to get to a point where they ain't got no choice but to fight me. You know, I'm, I'm not sure how accurate this is. But... I think I'm at as far as 40, at 47 by the WBC rankings. I think I'm one of the only guys with less than 10 fights. That's right. So um, yeah, right now they're probably looking at it as a uh, high risk, low reward. But in due time, they gonna have to. Gotta get your thoughts, man, on another uh, stable mate, man. Seems like he getting a lot of noise lately. That's that's that uh, young Camille Moten. Yeah, no, nah, he he the truth, young young and the goods. Um, you know, he definitely, first few fights of his career, he's been, he been showing out. I think he got another fight date locked in. I think it's like in March, uh, late March. Yeah, he. I think he is on that. Uh, yeah, that, the March 30th. Yeah. Yeah, nah, he definitely been showing out. He definitely been showing out um, doing this thing. And so I can't wait to see where he at a few years from now. You know, with that being said, it kind of remind, remind me when you, when, when you uh, first had got with the Mayweather promotion. Remember how it was? And it was hot like fire it seems like he's going through that same thing right now has he reached out to like any advice man like whew. Yeah, we, we talk you know I, I talk to him I always talk to him like after his fights and stuff 
and um, and it's really, it's really, it really, honestly, it just be brief. Like, mm -hmm. you know, you look good, but you know, they they always gonna be looking for something to hate about. So, just just stay on your pivot. Just stay on your pivot. Don't don't get tricked into no dumb arguments. Yeah. On, on the net because. Oh, more often than not, us young guys will know no better when it comes to the things that we say. And him, I just don't be want to be put in a situation where he either a say something crazy and get himself canceled. Oh, Move this up for you. Yeah, put it back on your shoulders. Not nah, the other nah, uh, oh. towel back up. Yeah, drop the towel. <laughs> but you all good. I can still hear it on yeah. here. Oh uh, yeah, I don't want him to be in a situation where like you know he say something crazy, get himself canceled, or b. You know, he put his foot in his mouth in a situation where he's like, he say something he can't take back. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you know, it just be little things like, because I had somebody, you know, guys tell me certain things. Like, ah, you shouldn't say this. Uh, you shouldn't do this. You know. You, great point, man, because, you know, I looked at the T.O. situation at this fight, man. You know, the, the kind of got to him with the booze and stuff. Man. Hey, hey, people, people, humans, humans, listen up, man. Listen up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all can boo all you want. Suck a dick, no homo. No, 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 Listen. No. I know. Relax, relax. Let me, let me, let me go back on this, okay? We cannot for one second. Yeah, people are that loose Let me speak. We cannot for one second claim these people, these fighters that don't want to come and fight. You go to blood, sweat, and tears. The three code of conduct sugar ray robinson award if you ain't ready for this life get the out of my sport i am a champion i bleed for this i sweat for this and i cry for this every time jesus is real and, and all i can say may god giveth god taketh blessed be the name of the lord and in one breath thank god the next minute suck my blah 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 so like you said is always thinking that you always got to remember where you are the situations that you're in and people are always watching especially corporate so i'm like ooh, yeah. we don't know if we want want him to be one of our sponsors talking like yeah. that so yeah. you seem like you're always going to be under that spotlight and you got to watch your words there's two sides to it i always say on one side you know you gotta watch what you say because you know it can always come back and get you but on the other side i tell guys you know you got to live and dabble with whatever decisions you make so, you know, if you decide to do something that somebody advised you not to do, and that something, you know, causes you a lot of money down the line, you got to live with that decision. But if that's something that somebody told you not to do, if it turns out and it, and it did you good, then it's like, ah, you know. So either way, it's like, I can advise somebody to do anything, but at the end of the day, they got to make their own decisions the same way I got to make my own decisions as well. Now, we're going to end on this, man. I got to talk about the, the, the Vegas spar, man. Every time, see, like, you, go, you head out that way, man. One minute, people available. Next minute, they not. Why, why, why is that when it comes to Vegas, man? They say, they come out there, come get this work. But then when somebody from, shot from the East Coast go out there, man. It's... Man, East Coast run boxing. Think about any of, the, any of the best boxers. They from the East or they from the... You know, that Midwest. Uh, Y'all yeah, about to say, you know Ohio going to stand up on that move. That East or Midwest, like that. This this side of America, when it comes to, like, American fighters, we run boxing. <laughs> Most of the guys that got gyms out there, they from this side of the, this side of the country. So, it's like, that's. So, y'all heard that East Coast run box. <laughs> Enough said, man. But, again, Jaleel, man, I truly, truly appreciate your time, as always, man. Like I said, the WBC Youth Champion in under eight fights, ranked 38 in the world by the WBC sanctioning body. Oh, we also got to talk about this too, man. It seems like, man, that, that relationship is growing with you in Ring Magazine, man. You have a new article out um, online with Ring Magazine. Talk about that. Yeah, I just seen, I, I seen the article uh, last night. And, um, you know, it was a great article. Um, it talked about the, the highs and the lows of my career, what they think, their predictions what they think I need to work on, stuff like that. And, um, was it a fair assessment? It, I, I consider it fair. I consider it fair. And, um, yeah, no, it's, I just always look at it like Kobe once said, job not finished. You know, it's always more. It's always more. So. Yeah, I'm looking forward, man, to continue this path on the journey with you, man. Yeah. Hey, man, why is it so hard for me to get, <laughs> get credentials locally, man? I cannot get nothing locally, man. Hey, man. So I just stopped trying now. I don't need to do it no more. 
Cause Bernard said, man, I don't even know why you do it, man. I be trying, cause I be trying it, you know, cause I cover the young fighters. Yeah, nah. But at the level, Bernard said, man, why you waste your time? I done heard it a lot. And, um, they say you get love somewhere else before you get love in your own city. Mm. You know, so it's like. It is what it is. You That's know. why I say it is what it is, man. I can't you worry about it. You know you're my it. guy, Zeb, so. I already know. Go where you appreciate it. Exactly. Tolerated. Go where you appreciate yeah. it, not tolerate it, man. And when can we expect that next vlog, man? You man doing the damn thing with those vlogs, man. Yeah, nah. I'm, uh, I'm looking to drop another one um, probably beginning of the next week. If not the beginning of the next week, definitely before the end of next week. Subject matter? Uh, I did Stay a, tuned. <laughs> nah, I, I'll give a little something. I did a... Uh, a little pop up at an elementary school yesterday. I, I vlogged a little bit of that. Um, you know, that's something you do often, man. Because I remember I went with you that time. You were reading to the kids at the at the um, at the little rec center uh, yeah. uh, over there in Southwest. Yeah, nah. So it's like those type of things. I like doing those type of things because it's like I've been to other places. Like I've I lived in Vegas for a little bit. Uh, I've been to places like Cali, Miami, stuff like that. And people have said, like, yeah, come, come, come talk to the kids, come mess with the kids. And I never decline those type of things. But I would prefer to make an impact on the youth where I'm from. I would prioritize that over, let's say, I, I, I do something in Vegas at an elementary school or in L.A. at an elementary school. Those, that, that's not my community. If, if, I can, if I have an impact on my community, it just, I, I feel it here. Like, them, them youngest, I can relate to them. You Respect. know, they, they came up in the same neighborhoods I come from. When they know? saw when they saw your belt, Jaleel, what, what was their eyes like when they man, saw They it? went crazy, man. <laughs> they was loving it. They was loving it, man. Um, you know, it was unreal talking to the kids, you know. They young, you know, they, they I was telling like a lot of the teachers and stuff, these are the most influential years of their lives right here. Like, so it's like for them youngest to be like, yeah, like when I grow up I think I wanna be a boxer or like something like that, like it's real. It make me want to go harder because it's like they looking up to you, so you gotta lead by example. You know you can't. It's certain things that you can't do because you know they just gonna do whatever you do. Lastly, we gonna we gonna end on this, man. Talk about uh, your relationship with uh, Big Brother Tank. Man, that's a hell of a dude right there. He's solid. You know, everybody has their own opinion on people, but me personally, that's probably one of the realest dudes, realest dudes that I ever came across as far as like in the boxing world that's at that point, you know, like I, I've been in a few camps with him and um, you know, he take me in with open arms, you know, he willing to teach, you know, for, for anybody who willing to learn, he gonna teach, you know, if you feel like you're taking the information, you're gonna give more information. All right, I'm out here with Jaleel Hackett. Just got finished uh, sparring rounds with Tank, man. How do you feel, man? Good, man. Definitely a different level of work, man. See, I got a little cut. Explain that to people, man, when you say different level of work. It's different level of work. It's different between working with a, a, a world-class amateur and a world-class pro. Big difference. Speed is different. Reaction time is different. A lot of things different. Uh, just from your uh, quick sparring session, uh, how many? that was four rounds, right? Yeah, that was four. Um, what did you learn from the session today? Reaction time is, is different. It's a split-second reaction time. You always got to stay set, ready to fire. Hey man, for 16, man, you put in some work in there, man. I yeah. appreciate it, man. Hard work, man. And I appreciate the hard work and dedication that you put on, man. All the time, all the time. All the time, man. And you see, man, you don't play boxing, man. You can't play this. You but, gotta do but this. But believe me, he handled his own out there, man. Congrats. Uh, good job in there, man. Always. All right, man. If you feel like you, you kind of like, mm, you know, stop giving information, you don't want it, so. You know, that's a great point, because, you know, how, how can I word this? He's had other stable mates in there, but he's he's really taken to you as far as your work ethic and the things that you're doing, man. What's one of the gems that he dropped on you? Uh, it's always like it's like the small things, the outside of the ring thing. He like like I said to you, and I've said all the time. I'm a visual learner. If I see it enough times, I pick it up. I get to do it. So it's like, as far as the things in the gym, he like, he tell me things, but it's like, uh, you'll see me do it enough times that you'll pick it up. But like, he always get on me about how I can duck myself outside of the, outside of the ring, outside of the gym. He, he always reiterate, learn from my mistakes. You know, I've done things that I wish I didn't do. Well, I wish I didn't like, you know, have happened. 
but like just learn from it. You see the outcome I got, it, it kind of put a little slight hold on me at times. So don't put yourself in those situations. And so, you know, I definitely take his advice on a lot of those times. Hey man, I truly, truly appreciate your time as always, giving insight into the sport of boxing and, and your journey um, as you become a world champion, man. I truly appreciate it. Definitely, man. I appreciate you. All right, yeah, there you have it. Jaleel Major Hackett, WBC Youth welter, Silver Welterweight Champion of the World on the Ropes Boxing. We out. Uh, you know,